Hello everybody, uh, this is Chase Iron Eyes, uh, Lakota People's Law Project attorney, and uh, I'm here on Highway 1806. Uh, in your view is, is just me talking right now, but behind you, I'm about to show you the, uh, the most militarized blockade in North Dakota history is about to come down, but there is a National Guard and law enforcement presence in addition to private corporate DAPL security, who those three bodies have been responsible for the constitutional human and civil rights violations of over 600 people. They have inflicted the most corporate violence and brutality in the last, in, in, in our modern times. I mean, we're talking since Ferguson, since the wounded knee standoff, since the civil rights struggle. And we are happy because uh, the barricade is coming down and that's one of our goals. We support the Standing Rock Nation in its efforts to uh, lift this economic sanction from unduly burdening an already um, impoverished. Uh, we've, we've had a poverty culture imposed on us and times are tough out here where I live on the Standing Rock Nation. But we just established a new camp called the Last Child's Camp in honor of Crazy Horse who created that warrior society in 1873. Uh, and Sacred Stone is moving on the drill pad right now. And so we are very concerned that it, there could quite possibly be a raid. We don't like to uh, inflame fear or, or cause undue concern. But we here, the thousand of us who are north of the Cannonball River, who are here in the liberated zone to make a treaty stand, to let the world know that the shackles that the United States and North Dakota, the political, legal, and economic shackles that are on Native nations today, the poverty culture, the dehumanization, and expropriation perpetrated on not only Native nations, but all Americans, through Trump tyranny, big extraction, and big finance, we're here to let that conglomerate know that we are not taking any more of it, and we are here in an unarmed, peaceful, nonviolent, and prayerful way, and we will continue to stand. I just wanna show you, you can't, you can't see it, I can't go too close because uh, the live feed will cut out, but in the distance, you can see a huge crane removing the barricade, and you can see a buildup of military, law enforcement, and private corporate security vehicles. So, yes, we are concerned, but we also walk without fear. Those of us who are on the ground out here understand exactly what the risks are, yet we are still committed to a dignified and peaceful assertion of our original and inherent authority and we demand our treaties, our sovereignty, our constitutional civil rights be honored. Trump tyranny seeks to inflict this kind of corporate violence on all of us. We either stand up now or we get run over by the Trump train. This is the next four years, ladies and gentlemen. So I wanted to provide you a quick update while I have signal because they've knocked my signal out a couple times. Thank you for watching, thank you for sharing. Thank you, thank you for sending your love, your support, your compassion. We know it comes from a genuine place in your soul and we can feel it on the ground out here. So please continue to share our truths because the only media that's out here is us and the Young Turks. So props, send your voices, send your prayers, send your energy. Indeed, that's the strongest force that we have and we have to stand in that spiritual dignity. So thank you. Stay tuned. We'll check in later.